is that late lurk coming through from Mitch in mid. If Mitch can time this right, you can see the Killjoy is currently watching the back side of the play. It's all about timing for Mitch. Mitch has to work this one well, and if he does, he's going to get a massive backstab. Now they're already starting to make their way out onto the site. Nice shock dart coming in right into their faces. Poise and comes. Floppy both fall. Here comes the flank from Mitch. Will it get there in time? The bot's in his way, but it doesn't matter. Mitch is able to line up two before being turned on for T1 there. The Astra combo as well with a Killjoy can be so powerful because of Gravity Well mixed in with Nano Swarm, but dazed sleep, but it didn't look like a pulse came through of that it, one. He would be a little bit higher on HP. It was definitely an encounter of the Owl Drone that came out towards A. That information allows for them to know the attacks happening towards the C site. Well, this C site's looking like a sponge right now as the defense was unable to hold against the push that was coming through, but they're really up quick. Dazed with just the SMG gunning down his first target in poise. Zeta is there from backsight with the backstab, and it's down to the one on one. Nice nade right into the face of Zeta, but it doesn't matter. The nade doesn't really. This is the actions happening now towards the C side. For this round, though, it's towards B, and we're just satchel charging inside the site and clearing things up on a four on four. <laughs> that was a little awkward, though, that long range duel. You can see Leaf had yeah. that instant regret, and he's like, ah, crap. <laughs> not really anything you can do from that distance. The shotgun might get you a dink, but it's going to be very low damage. Moving in on the retake, you've got Curry coming through with one by his side. Mitch and Poise set up for a one-two punch. Floppy was there at the backup as well. The round is looking fantastic currently as Spider rips onto the operator with white knuckles, knowing that T1 is going to be, or excuse me, that Cloud9 is going to be hunting for him. He does pick off one target, but he's got to be careful, and you can see him backing up into a better position at the top of the stairs. There's only one target. That's why. Apologies, Chad. But let's go with it. Showstopper inside the site to clear it out, but it gets stopped by Skadoodle. It was a good attempt to get into that site. They do have site control still, but I, I don't like think this. they realize that Skadoodle's still chilling here, hanging out in the backside of site. He was able to get a couple of kills, and they still haven't dealt with him in that position. And things are quickly falling apart. There's only one player that remains. And I love this. The Killjoy Curry getting aggressive on long. I think they may have spotted him, though. There was a strafe peek that came through. Curry has to be careful, though. There is a lot of firepower coming in that direction. Now, at least they can make an advanced call out. Hey, they're working their way up long. The Raze is coming into position on the other side of the box. There's the ult being popped, taking down the Raze opposition. And an aid going out as well, but it's a little bit too late, and that allows them up into advanced positions onto the site. They'll go ahead and stick the spike down. It will be a two-on-three retake. Skadoodle does have the, op, or, or the ult, excuse me, as does Daze. So they've got Hunter's Fury, and they've also got that Astra ult that can cut the site in, in half with the Cosmic Divide. We'll see if they decide to use it or not as they move into position. Dazed. Spots one immediately on the other side of the green boxes towards Long. There's a star coming out, but they just double peek past it. And at that point, Skadoodle's like, not worth it. Time to get out of here. A back and forth volley continues. So in a three on two, Daze pretty much had his whole has gotten into an incredibly advanced position and they don't clear it. Skadoodle somehow though only gets one kill out of that advanced position on top of the boxes. You've still got a player on site. It's Spider with the op, but this is an awkward position to be in. First kill is going to be his, gets back up from Curry, and now it's down to just one. It's Zeta on site. Make it a 1v1. The two Korean players, Zeta versus Spider. It's a dance on the site, but awkward here because now their own player is stuck on the other side of this wall. So the Cosmic Divide comes through, and Spider is lef left in a position where he's forced to just run through the other side. It's all about timing now. They need this peak to work out with the rest of the players. But because he's though. got an op, it's so incredibly uncomfortable, and you can see it fall apart. Nice ult to get away, or a dismiss, excuse me, coming in from Poise. Skadoodle out of ammo has to go for the reload, and that's when Poise... Defense. Al Drone is only going to spot one, so... T1 is still guessing how many players are still going around, and with Mitch dying on the lurk, they're still second guessing. They don't know this hit is happening towards the A side. Spider up in heaven, holding the op. There's two players here and a third in quick position. The shot's going to come out, and that'll push Spider back. But that'll allow their Soba to get into position. There's the ult coming through, cancelled, spotting out the player in heaven. They weren't prepared for automatic on site, who's able to get two. Nice shock dart coming out from Zeta, followed up by some damage as well. So that when it lands, Spider just explodes in a ball of lightning. But it's all down to Floppy. There's the ult coming through, the Killjoy ult. Try to get them onto the site. 
But kills are piling up. There's the ult for the cancel. Well done as the Hunter's Fury takes care of that one in a follow-up pulse. Why not? Onto his counterpart. So much for a tie score at the end of the first half as Automatic is the only one remaining in a one-on-four. Now, sure, Floppy's barely alive, but as his barrel pokes... Astra now taking the attacker side for T1. A little bit of an awkward omen paddle on Long as the classics don't necessarily connect the way they might anticipate. Recon Dart's going to give away the position of the player on backside site, but it doesn't scare Poison Way, just goes for the peak instead. Leap is there as well, and it's just not working out well right now for the T1 side as they go for this take, but as I say that, Curry turns things back around. He's low on HP, but they've still got to deal with Leaf, who's just floating around on that site. Mitch finally comes through with support. Miss shot from Curry. Turret to go down as backup tries to use it as a bit of armor by throwing it down in front, but it's still both really good for both teams. They didn't clear this side with Floppy. So Floppy is in a really good position, and I don't think they're going to see this coming when Floppy goes for the peak right here. It's a free kill. So it's a one-two punch. Sure, they lose poise, but Floppy is there with the immediate follow-up. The Aldrone cleared to the right spot at two players. They never expect a third player to be playing inside sewers. But off that information, they realize, hey, if there's three here, somewhere else is going to be weak. So they're going to go ahead and force the fight over towards the C site. But right now, they've managed to basically bring it down to the Cypher, who's trying desperately inside the smoke to survive. The backup didn't really do much. Zeta came through from spawn, but pushed through a smoke and got caught off guard. It's all starting to spiral in a weird direction as the flank is coming through. It doesn't uh, penalize right now the fact that they have such a, a new player coming into the roster, and this score line actually definitely proves it too. Right here is all they needed for 14 uh, for C9 Blue. Now, that ult could have scared them a little bit because it was potentially perceived to be going the different direction. But that's the beautiful thing about that camera, like you mentioned. Because of its position, they try to turn around to take out the camera, but there's no communication between the players. Both players decided to do it at the same time. Yeah. And there you go. When, when it comes up, the ult could maybe scare some players away. You put that camera up. You see them walk up towards that ramp too. And Floppy, well, he was in a great spot at double stack. And now this is Lee by himself because somehow it turned over. And it's a one versus one. And it's going to be still joy ult, which is kind of why you hold on to it as a Soba. Yeah. Now those pulses don't really open anything up. They do a little bit of damage, but Mitch on site still manages to get at least one kill. Automatic has at least opened up the C site by carving apart the defense. And it is a four on three, a promising look for T1 as they gain site control. They don't really have too much to worry about on the other side outside of just firepower and utility. He's trying to get out of that one, but he is sucked in. Take him down to one player and cause some more economic impact. The next round, the team's going to be on a save either way. Whether mm. you save that rifle or not, you're going to be the only yeah. rifle, or you're yeah. playing with the team with a, 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 just a field of pistols. So it was going to be on a pistol this round, and C site is under control for T1. Say that, but Cloud9 finds two kills, trying to slow down the push, and there's a lot of Huge. players here. There's more coming in from Cloud9. And you can see T1 trying to back off and run just a bit as oh, damage no is pouring through the smoke and it's all down to Curry. He's got to save the day. The spike is in a terrible spot, but there's at least that smoke that was on site. It's since dissipated. And now Curry has no choice to, but to go for an end around play. Still has his alarm bot and turret back towards window. Wants Which to play this one with the rifle. There is a player on site that's incredibly low on HP. That's Floppy, who's sitting 15 HP on top of the platform. His positioning could be pivotal, because even if he dies, he'll left. spot out that position pretty quickly and make the call out. And that puts Leaf in a pretty solid position, given where Curry's going to be coming from. One enemy remaining. 15 seconds. Time is of the essence here for Leaf. Has to make a move, or Curry, excuse me. Curry has to Ten run back to the spike it. and grab it. I don't even know if he's going to have time. He's trying to go for it, but it's going to be so incredibly close. It's That's like it. right it's on the buzzer, and here comes the peak, and there goes the game. He's is in a great spot. Oh, Poise just gets an absolute dirty one-tap shot onto automatic. We might see a playback towards mid, but you can see everyone's going to be coming through from screens. The three remaining players trying to make their way in. Leaf is already on site. Got the pup going out, looking for something to sink its teeth into. The nade comes out just a second too late. As on several corners to get that flash into the site. 
There's one up in top of two. That's the lead. Nice nade coming out as well. Follow up and back up from Poise. The nade keeps them back just a bit as they try to get onto the site, but they're being slowed down pretty heavily. Now the Frenzy does great oh, damage, boy. but it's actually the fadeaway kill coming in from Poise as he was running low on the mag, decided to get out. It's Curry though, who's making this one cost a bit by taking players out. And I, I say that, but realistically, this is Cloud9 coming oh, in with yeah. a force that caught T1 off guard. T1. They won the pistol. Actually, they we're not anticipating this round. Now, this is great with this toxic wall up, as that allows Curry to get on the other side, not worry about what could be waiting on the other side inside of sight. But with 26 seconds left, he's good. And that's going to be some weapon pickups. He's got the marshal of all things in the hands of Jet, but a rifle has been picked up by one of the players here. And it'll be a one for one exchange on the site that results in a three on three. Skadoodle blow on HP, 38, waiting around the corner with that rifle. Poise comes out with a quick clear. But you've got Curry on the flank trying to do what he can, but the spike is in a Stick terrible it. spot and Curry can't do much about this. Enemy one, enemy. two, can't get there in time to stop the defuse. The round will go the direction. Gonna zip line over the top and come up on the backside of this. They're not gonna be expecting oh, it. One, boy. two, they're highlighted inside this dark and misty smoke from the Viper old. But it still is reduced down to Floppy on the flank. Spider and Automatic trying to lock down sight despite all of their heroics there made by Poise. We're still in this position. Floppy starting to take the zip line across. That's always fun. From up top, you've got Spider with the knives out. And as he goes for the tap, it's likely going to be a right click to the back of the skull. It's the rake. Is the defense for Cloud9 Blue. You've got Skadoodle moving through on the other side of the Viper Wall, and again we're down to a one-on-one, -on -one, and this time it'll be Cloud9's. You mentioned it, right? Like, if somebody could just win one round, like, easy enough with a couple players surviving, they can really put the game a retake for C9. Tempted shot is off the mark. No one detained by the Killjoy ult. Not entirely surprised by that. Seems to be par for the course. Nice shots from Spider with just a pistol. Got automatic in a position where maybe you could find one or two shots. Hold on! Yet strike. again, we are in this position. And we talked about it before. How the ult for Sky seems like it's always available. Not only that, the heal comes out as the Seekers give away the position of the first player. Now the spike has been tapped at least for the moment, Ooh. but it's a quick one-two for Zeta. And the spike has been planted. And the site's been lost. Nice kill coming in from Leaf. Catching Automatic on the move over across. Trying to get away from the site. Some damage coming through the Viper Wall. 39 HP for Leaf. Finished off quickly by Spider, who is also taken out. Rez flank. coming through. Ult coming out. Skadoodle still in position. You mentioned the flank play. But it's going to be dazed now in this... Two on two, trying to get into position quickly to stop that defuse. They don't get there in time. The TDK, and it works out pretty well when T1 wants to take map control, but the retakes just continues to be strong once the poison is actually depleted there from Curry. That said, though, with this round, we saw an early, early Hunter's Fury. We see an attack towards his B side, a split from mid, up towards yellow, and it's going to be T1 taking the upper hand. Spam coming through. So close. Almost takes out Spider, drops him very low. Down to 18 HP. Zeta's on the other side. Great move. Good timing in coming in from Cloud9. And the last remaining player for T1 is just too low on HP. Cloud9 looking way more solid. We've seen that position played from Poise before. He's able to escape and get back towards the screens. The showstopper doesn't do anything. But this ult might. This is what actually countered out Poise's ult the last time. When Empress was utilized on site, it was the Viper ult that made it a little bit awkward for him. Moving into position, though. Keep away his position, tries to port away. As he's escaping, oh! Spider goes up top, but somehow Floppy manages to escape and get the kill. Now, in the meantime, Automatic was coming underneath, too, but at least Mitch is there for the trade. Back to bring things back. Four on three, advantage Cloud9 Blue. Now, the spike has gone down, and it's retake time yet again for Cloud9, something we've seen them do. Pretty masterfully thus far. Great shots coming out from Curry, but won't get a follow-up on the boys. And that's the player you really want to take out of this situation. His reign of play has definitely been impressive. Again, it gets brought down to a two-on-one. Feels like that's been the last five or six. Really second guessing now. It's looking pretty good for their retake of how fast and aggressive they've been. And yet again, Poise escapes with the dismiss, gets to the backside of sight, needs another orb, can't quite get it in time, wanted to get that heal through. 
One of the more promising rounds we've seen for T1. Unfortunately, comes right at the tail end of the first half. Skadoodle is barely alive, my god. 3 HP. And of course, it's Sky herself. So, <laughs> no heal will be coming through. <laughs> Skadoodle just wants to go through the top side of tube. Does get some information. How does it work out for them? Not so well. It comes down to Dazed and Dazed alone. The wall is in. And to be start looking at that phase match. So, oh, is it a fluke? No, you know, I'm, I still want to commit to saying, like, that first half was not the worst from T1. They just couldn't close out so many close rounds. There's still an opportunity for them to come back in this game, and it's going to start with some impressive pistol work here, but again, Floppy, the flash will come through as well. That's Daze taking the kill onto Floppy. There's a nade in the hand of lead. Has to switch to the sidearm quickly, and yeah, now you can see the effect of boys being across the map. There's not much that can be done here. It's not lined up like you said. It'll be in the round going the way of T1. Push out to try to die. There he goes. Smart play for Poise to die at the same time. And I... Cloud9 trying to close out oh. the series. But T1 putting up a fight as they make some nice shots off the SMG of Dazed. Slowing down the push onto the site. The flash is exactly where it needs to be. Dazed wants the 4k. He got one in the last map. He's going to get coming from CS. Bike down, a. More kills, though, coming in. And T1 and C9 locked again at even strength. It's the three on three. The site's been lost. The spike will be planted, but look at the positions already for some of the players. You've got Skadoodle in a really interesting spot on the flank. Yeah, he's, in, he's actually in a great spot here for a backstab. He's just going to have to walk it through. You have to delay on the other end of the map. It's going to look pretty good here. The drop is going to make a lot of uh, noise, and there's that backstab. It leads from Curry, and this is a huge window of opportunity for Skadoodle. That uh, C9 are working towards his B site. Floppy was in such a weird spot there on top of Tube. <laughs> the pup came through, and I think it spotted him, but it, it couldn't actually get up there, so he was like, do I peek? Do I not? Do I peek? Do I not? Ends up winning the fight, dying immediately after. The spike will be planted, and again, T1 is in post-plant territory. This time, though, the number's heavily against their favor. And it's going to be awkward, to say the least. The wall is really bizarre. Now, that ult could help. The leer that was above Curry's head makes things a little bit more uncomfortable. There's the quick peek coming up from Poise. It's the right move to make sure that the Viper's pit is taken out of the equation. And the up to 85 HP. Make it 88. Flash is right on the money. And Dazed is there with a quick kill. T1 looking so good in the retake. Floppy tries to come through on the backside lurk. But it'll be an eighth round for T1. As their defense is what's their bread and butter this in this position. Now Skadoodle's going to pop the ult. The Seekers are going to come out. That flash goes on the other side of the top of the wall. And they are still blind, but Zeta is still in position. So many flashes coming out this round. But it's down to Curry. The game at down, they were still out in the open. That just caught them off guard, caught them by surprise, and trying to push aggressively to gain control towards yellow became just open season for C9 Blue, who are opposed. Players present. Poison Orb is going to fade, and that's when there's going to be a spotting of several players from Cloud9 sitting on top of it. Curry tries to get into a better position, but the Recon Dart giving away his position. A heal could come through from Skadoodle to bring Automatic back up to full, and that's exactly what's going to happen. The wall will come out, though, and that'll make things a little bit more uncomfortable as Floppy is there on the flank. <laughs> the Alarm Bot does start to give away his position, but it's a little bit too late there, Alarm Bot. Automatic, how? How did Mitch whiff in that fight? I thought for certain that fight was going to go the other way. Now, keep in mind, the spike still hasn't been planted, and the spike is actually down. It's not in the possession of either Zeta or Floppy. Oh! Zeta has to take this battle with Automatic, and Spider's got the knives out. It's all about timing here. Oh, that flash! That flash! The paranoia comes through!